guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News concert review of Roger Waters. He performed October the 28th in Vancouver, Canada at Rogers Arena. Man, I think this was the best concert sound I have ever heard. Uh, I, I had, did see Pink Floyd way back uh, when they came around with Momentary Lapse Reason and Division Bell. But uh, it was in uh, BC Place Stadium, which was a bigger stadium. But I'll tell you, and they had some great sounds, but I'll tell you, this was the best sounding concert that I've, I've ever heard. They brought their own rigs, so they had... Uh, uh, stage up front and where the normal stage is with a big huge uh, screen video screen behind them and they had this rig that they brought which is like quadraphonic sound or surround sound and it basically was the length of their arena the length of the hockey arena and uh, underneath that they had these uh these poles that would go down uh, during the second set of the concert they went down and they they had screens basically from it would be almost from like one goalie net of the arena all the way to the other side and they were showing the concert and videos across this whole screen it was amazing i've never seen anything like that before uh the set list was uh, speak to me Pink Floyd, Breathe, Pink Floyd, One of These Days, which was just amazing, the instrumental, uh, Pink Floyd, Time from Pink Floyd, Breathe, Reprise from Pink Floyd, The Great Gig in the Sky from Pink Floyd, Welcome to the Machine, which was just amazing. Uh, then they played some solo stuff, Deja Vu, The Last Refugee, Picture That, then uh, they played Wish You Were Here, Pink Floyd, The Happiest Days of Our Lives, Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2, and Another Brick in the Wall Part 3 for Pink Floyd. After that, they took about a 10-minute break, and they came back on for set two. That's when the big screens uh, that went the length of the, of the arena came down, um, and they were playing a bunch of videos on that. They played, uh, when it first uh, arose, it was the shape of the of the big um, foundry, the big uh, companies with the machines with the big smokestacks on it, I think off of uh, animals cover. But uh, yeah, and they had the pig, pig floating in the sky. There's a pig that went around the arena a couple times. And they also had, uh, I guess, a moon. It would look like a, it was like a big ball, looked like the moon was floating around the arena as well. Uh, they played on the second set, Dogs from Pink Floyd, Pigs, three different ones, Pink Floyd, Money, Pink Floyd, Us and Them, which was one of the highlights for me of the concert. I just love that song, and uh, they just performed amazing. Uh, Smell the Roses, which was a solo song, and then B Brain Damage, Pink Floyd, Eclipse, Pink Floyd, and their encore was Mother, Pink Floyd, and Comfortably, Comfortably Numb, Pink Floyd. Now, during uh, one of the songs, I believe it was Brain Damage or Eclipse, they had a three-dimensional laser beam pyramid that spanned the, uh, you know, the width of the uh, of the arena, which was amazing. And then they had this um, prism that shot through the pyramid, and it was so cool. I haven't seen anything like that before, like this 3D dimensional uh, laser beam pyramid, and it was so amazing. Um, this this concert was just a top notch. 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. Reasons to see this. Number one, who knows how long Roger Waters is going to be touring anymore. Number two, the sound system was just amazing. Uh, number three, the just the, the hearing these songs live, like a lot of these songs you just don't get to hear live anymore if you're a big Pink Floyd fan or if you, you know, just it's just unique to hear a lot of these tracks. And the number, number four, um, just the the huge display screens that came down from the roof and and went up and down i've never seen anything like that and number five this laser beam pyramid with the prism i thought it was just a, an amazing show it was, there was no opening band he played for pretty much from quarter after eight till pretty almost 11 o'clock with about a 10 minute break in between and it was just Fabulous. Loved it. So check this one out if you uh, have a chance. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.